thank Elizabeth and, and Sharon for asking me to be one of the jurors. It was a privilege and an honor to come here and, and do that. And thank you to Susan, who runs an amazing museum. My husband and I could hardly leave. I think we didn't leave till it closed after the, the jury uh, session on April 11th, which was, by the way, a nice storm here in this area. <clears throat> and I haven't been home to Manitoulin since that jurying uh, experience and that ice storm because I went over to Kingston because my father has been in the hospital for two months and uh, he was being discharged. And uh, I got to sit down because my legs are shaking. I saw that. Yeah. So I'll just move this out of the way. And uh, sorry. And, uh, and so my husband said, you should come down, I'll meet you in Toronto, and we'll, uh, we'll pick up our daughter Grace tomorrow on Monday. And she's flying in from England because her wedding is happening on Manitoulin Island in June. And uh, so we're going to take her up to Manitoulin for at least a week. And um, why am I telling you all that? Because I know that you all are juggling the same kinds of life and death issues. We have to balance so many things as artists, our, our children, our parents, the environmental disasters that you know, happen every week, and how do we justify it? How do we continue to make art and, and, and keep on going when it's, it's just overwhelming sometimes? There's all the ideas that yes, you have to share yourself and you have to uh, express your communication, you have to do all those things that artists do indeed have to do. We're a very vital part of any culture. But I'll tell you why I like to do art, and I need to do art, and it's because it heals me. The most nourishing thing I can do for myself is to sit down with a piece of cloth that's halfway through and continue with it. And just let my body and my hands and the fabric just work with me for some time in quiet and solitude and let that touching and that experience of being alone with myself and my, my art um, enter into my own self and I get to hear my own self, I get to find my own self. And I think that when um, my viewer and when your viewers see the tactile marks that come with a needle and thread it's more powerful than any painting because of that sense of touch. Touch is the mother of all the senses, and that's what we use as artists who work with stitch. So yes, um, congratulations on this exhibit. Any juried exhibit is only as good as the work submitted. And I could hardly wait to see this show hung. We had a very good day. Uh, we enjoyed looking at all the beautiful work that was submitted. It was very difficult to make some of the decisions and very easy to make others. It's funny. And I'm sure that the William Hodge and Sylvia Naylor would go along with me in congratulating everybody and thanking everybody who had such an important role. It was really a, a beautiful experience. And I wanted to say one more thing about water. What a brilliant choice for a theme. You know, you've probably heard uh, artists who work with cloth say why cloth is an important thing to use as an art medium. Because we are wrapped with it from the day we are born until the day we die. It's the most intimate thing. Everybody can relate to cloth. Everybody, men, women, babies, old people, they all can relate. They understand it because they have to experience it. Well, consider this. Before you're wrapped in that cloth, on the day you're born, you're wrapped in water in your mother's womb. 